What's up guys, on site today, repairing millwork that has been blowing apart in this house. Um, we're not sure what's going on, but I'm kind of hoping I can harness the power of the YouTube and Instagram hive mind to figure out what's going on. But it's especially bad on the front face of this house. All the window trims where there is masonry is just crazy bad. Like the miters are being nuked from moisture. So I'll show you what I got going on and uh, see what you think. I think I've got a vapor drive issue happening on the front of this house. The first thing I'm gonna do is take you inside and I'm gonna show you these windows behind me here. Really bad water issues happening there. Um, somehow, this, this is brick on the front of this house and somehow we're getting a ton of moisture that is being pushed through the wall. And then just in general, inside the house, we've got really high humidity. So what I've been doing today is repairing the interior trim on this stairwell area here. You can see it's got a, a wall paneling detail and all of the miters were blowing apart horribly on this wall. Um, up here, front door wouldn't open or close. And then in this bathroom area, these, this window was horrible. Also, actually that corner right there, I'll show you. Look at the backside of that trim right there. That is how bad these miters were. That's, you can see the rusty nails, essentially trim starting to rot. So these miters were blown apart worse than I'd ever seen anything. Um, and it's not a water leakage issue. I believe it's a vapor coming through the wall issue due to the stone absor absorbing the moisture. Now this area was really bad also. I don't know if you can pick it up or not. You can see the brick on the outside here. It's on the face, but here we've got an especially bad issue because this register was blowing cold air onto this area and this miter um, was really bad um, lots of bad stuff happening the underside of this black sill was completely covered in uh, condensation literally beads of water just hanging on it um, so we got bad stuff going on so this house was i did not trim this house um, and none of the builders i work for built this house i'm helping a friend out trying to figure out what's going on um, the guys who did trim it did not use any kind of miter reinforcement on the casing or anything like that. So they really didn't have a fighting chance. They're essentially just moving, um, with the humidity in the house. And I'll show you how the miters are opening up everywhere else as compared to this wall that had the stone, but it's really, really bad on the front face of the house here. Um, and as we tried to figure out what was going on, um, I think it comes down to an issue of quote unquote vapor drive, which is where your masonry uh, actually absorbs moisture and then the sun pushes that through the wall. And uh, if you don't have, basically if your vapor barrier will allow it to come through, it'll just actually come right through into the inside of the house and then in the summer air conditioned space, that hot air with um, high relative humidity hits a cold surface, such as a window sill up here, and you instantly get condensation. Now, we actually even had some bad signs happening in other areas. Like I said, the front door wouldn't open, a lot of expansion happening there for some reason. And even down here, when we pulled this piece of baseboard off, there was mildew behind it. Um, the house was air sealed really well. So don't think it's an air seal situation, maybe a little bit, but not enough to justify the really high humidity that is just a constant in this house. I'm gonna flip you around and show you some of the miters uh, on the other walls to compare. So this is a three and a quarter by three quarter casing with a back band. You can see here um, the expansion. 
This is pretty normal uh, for a miter with no reinforcement given the level of humidity in the house. But the miters on the other wall uh, in the front of the house were probably five times this bad. So there's another. And then interestingly, if you come around to this wall here, uh, the miters are actually not even open at this point. I know the camera's not going to pick that up great with the lighting, but uh, not too bad. Then we change walls and here they're opening up a little bit again. Not horrible, but not acceptable by, by my standards, but nothing compared to the front wall of the house. But again, I should have mentioned before, this is a new home. It was trimmed last winter. It's less than a year old. And we're in the summertime now. And already got stuff looking like that. Again, rusty nails where this casing was over there in the bathroom. So now with the high humidity we're having here, this is mid-September in Indiana, which is the Midwest United States. These were split jam doors, so basically no reinforcement on these miters. They're all cracked and opening up. This is typical um, with split jam doors. They don't have any reinforcement or glue in the miters. So if you have a high humidity event inside your house, they're going to look like crap. So let's talk about vapor drive. So as I, again, this homeowner is a friend of mine and these issues started to happen this summer. Again, new home, less than a year old. This is the first heat high humidity cycle in the summer that it's went through. Everything started opening up. So we're trying to figure out what is going on and really, really bad stuff was happening on this wall with the masonry, which is facing north. Now that's the odd thing because I knew something in particular was happening on this wall and I thought well it's got to be vapor drive based on my research meaning that again the masonry absorbs all the rainwater um, and the water basically just goes through the whole wall assembly driven by the sun and the convection process and all that science stuff. Well you'll notice it's about three o'clock in the afternoon. It's September 15th, I believe. And this wall is in the shade. This is the front of the house where all the stone is, where all the really bad things were happening. And it's in the shade. And I expected it to be being hit directly by the sun. So that doesn't line up. Um, but obviously something bad is still happening on this wall. And I'm not sure what it is. Taking a closer look out here, this is the staircase wall. So we had really bad issues on this window. Um, water condensation happening on the underside of the jam on this window. Miters blowing apart here, really bad. This is the bathroom window, miters blowing apart here. And then issues up there also. Inter interestingly, the trim around this area was not too bad as far as miter separating. So again, pointing to issues with the stone. Now in terms of the wall assembly on the inside, you've got drywall, uh, craft faced fiberglass bats and a half inch of closed cell spray foam. Um, and then a house wrap that's not real great stuff, very breathable. So it's gonna allow vapor to pass through um, then airspace and then brick. So homeowner did pull mulch back and the weep ropes you can see here, they are exposed, they are there. Doesn't mean they're not covered in mortar on the inside, but um, they are here at least. There's no ventilation um, behind the brick in any way. So there's no really way for air to move between the brick and the house wrap slash osb so we know that something the whole house has high humidity even running uh three or four dehumidifiers all summer wasn't taking care of the problem um, but with the excessive issues that we're seeing on this 
brick wall it's got to be something here with the brick again the whole vapor drive scenario doesn't really line up given that we don't have direct sunlight uh, coming on here but maybe it's still just absorbing enough moisture and somehow getting through um, but right now as far as a course of action about the only thing you can do now that the whole house is put together would be to seal this brick so that's something i think is going to have to be done i'd love to hear your thoughts on that but um I'm, I'm guessing this brick can absorb quite a bit of moisture so i think it's going to have to be sealed uh, if vapor drive is an issue going through the wall the other thing um, that we're looking at quite a bit is the hvac system inside the house it does seem like the unit is oversized for the house this house is on a slab um, and it's a four ton 17 sear unit i believe and the it, there's just some talk that maybe that's oversized for the house and it might not be getting up into its second stage and dehumidifying the way it's supposed to not really sure on that could also be duct leakage issues um, i could easily see that happening given the really high temperatures high humidity that we have here in indiana um, the homeowners keeping the house at 68 degrees if you've got 50 degree cold air in your ducts and it's pulling in 90 or 100 degree air with 100 percent humidity that's a recipe for condensation inside the ductwork which could then be humidifying the house. So that's definitely a possibility also. And then additionally, because the house is a slab, you've got ductwork running um, in the slab, under the slab, and who knows what could be going on there as far as pulling moisture in. So I'd really love to know your thoughts, if you've ever seen anything like this before and have ideas or suggestions. Again, I'm in Indiana, Midwest United States. We're at the end of the summer, high humidity um, point of the year for us, um, and not really sure what's going on in this house and how to get the humidity, humidity level down. But uh, it's wreaking havoc on the whole trim package. The doors are expanding and not wanting to close, um, and it's just not getting under control. So if you've got any comments, suggestions, obviously keep it constructive but uh let me know what you think and if you've got any ideas being that this is a trim carpenter channel i am going to say this just really shows the importance of having a quality trim carpenter who is going to properly install the trim package um, giving proper reinforcement to the miters and all of the details throughout the house so that in the event that you do experience high humidity in your house or even extreme dry air in your house your trim package will hold up and you won't have all of these um, joints separating and and looking bad so the whole purpose of this video was hopefully number one you guys can help me out if any of you have seen this maybe you can point me in the right direction as far as remedies for the issues that we're seeing um, but then also just to raise awareness about things like vapor drive with stone. Um, not something really common a lot of people are gonna know about or look at, but as you can see, whenever your trim starts looking like that, it certainly gets your attention. So wanted to uh, just show you guys what I'm dealing with today and looking at and uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video and we can all learn and get a little bit better from it. So drop a comment uh, below if you've got any ideas. Again, uh, we're September 15th, end of the summer, summer here in Indiana. This was a new home. It, it was trimmed last winter. It is now the end of the summer and we're seeing all of this humidity issues um, really start to come to light. Uh, we got brick on the front of the house brick house wrap no black paper and osb two by four walls half inch closed cell spray foam craft face bats no visqueen and then drywall so that is the wall assembly which uh, lends itself pretty well to 
vapor transfer inward towards the house um, can be an advantage in that it will allow the house to dry out in the winter, but right now it is certainly not working in our favor as far as moisture coming in on this north facing brick wall. So let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.